he thinks he thinks that I'm attracted to you sexually. I got so mad when he said it, I wanted to kill him. But then the more I thought about it, I, I mean, I love you so much and I am so close to you. I just think, think that Norman, sometimes- Norman, stop it right now. You are not attracted to me. Don't look at me. Norman, Norman, uh, listen to me. It, it is completely normal. You're, you are developing sexually. You're just confused. It, it, it's silly. Don't you walk away from me! You're being ridiculous. Am I? Norman, please. Oh, I see. The anger didn't work. Now the tears. Norman, you don't understand! No, I do understand. I understand that you're not who I thought you were. That we're not what I thought we were. Yes, we are. Nothing has changed. And everything has changed. You changed the rules. What rules? What are you talking about? I don't trust you anymore, and that changes everything. Okay, it's all up for grabs now. You no longer know who I am either, because we're different. What? Stop it. Stop. Stop it, Norman. It was all just a game. The game was that we were devoted to each other, that no one could ever come between us, that we loved each other more than anyone could ever love another person. But we do love each other. Do we, do we really, Mother? Go into my room. Don't follow me. Leave me alone. You stay out here alone. Come on. We're gonna get in the car and you're gonna show me everything that happened. Right now. You shouldn't have gotten in the car with her, Norman. Why? Because you can't keep getting into cars with questionable women. Questionable? Slunny. Oversexed. Crazy. You're being ridiculous. I'm not. I mean, look what happened with Blair Watson. I have something I need to tell you, Mother. What is it? Fine. I know you worry about me a lot, and I don't want you to. You know, I really feel like everything's under control. The schoolwork, the motel, and I'm really OK. And I'm going to be dating Emma. You are? Mm hmm When did this happen? Just felt like the right time. I'm 18 now, time to start laying some foundation. Zero, you're okay with it? Yeah. I am. What's going on? Huh? Why are you all dressed up? Why are you dirty? Because I went to a party and... And then I decided to leave. It doesn't matter. What party? Through a lot, mother. No, it was just a bad party. I mean, in the last two years, I'm a little worried about you. You're worried about me? You just, you seem a little different lately. Stop worrying. can't get it out of my head. It's so awful. Mostly because I'm afraid it's true. And I need to tell someone. And I trust you more than anyone, but it might make you hate me. It might make you afraid of me because it's made me afraid of myself. Tell me, Norman. He thinks... He thinks that I'm attracted to you. Sexually. I got so mad when he said it, I wanted to kill him. But then the more I thought about it, I... I mean, I love you so much, and I am so close to you. I just think, think that Norman, sometimes... Norman, stop it right now. You are not attracted to me. Don't look at me. Norman, Norman, uh, listen to me. It, it is completely normal. Y you're, you are developing sexually. You're just confused. It, it, it's silly. 
funny. We're, we're, we're just people. We're, we're on some level like animals, instinctual. You're a man, I'm a woman, so maybe you notice my breasts once in a while. Big deal, it's freaking normal. It doesn't mean you're weird or that there's anything wrong with you. It doesn't? No! <laughs> no! What makes us not animals is that we make choices. You can't help what you think, what your impulses are. We all have crazy ones. I do. It, it, it's... It, I guarantee you, people dream about sleeping with their parents, their teachers, their dogs. <laughs> it's just how we're wired. Sex is confusing. So you need to stare it in the face and you need to say, that is stupid. <laughs> it is stupid. It's stupid. I should have never let that pseudo-doctor talk to you. So much for therapy. Listen to me. I don't ever want you to second guess anything about me. We are solid. We love each other. You are my whole world. You are my whole world. You always have been. Hug me, damn it. Come on. This is silly. Come on, You're gonna get this out of your head. You told that person about that. About me? I was worried about you, and he was a doctor. But he told someone, and now, and now this bad man knows, this, this man who, who wants to hurt us. And he got James to tell him stuff about me, about, about, about us. What bad man, okay? None of this is making any sense. I can't believe that you're standing here telling me that... No, 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 maybe, maybe you're not. Maybe you are not. Are, are you really here? Yes, I am here, and it happened. Well, then how could you do that? Because, Norman, you have no idea what it's like to be your mother. To see you have these blackouts, to worry about you night and day, it's killing me! It's killing me! You're gonna kill me, Norman! Okay, I will always love you. You are the first thing that I think about when I wake up in the morning, and you are the last thing that I think about at night. And I have always taken your word for it. When you tell me that I do these things I can't remember. But I'm not the one rummaging around in the basement. I'm not the one sleeping with their therapist. And you can see how these things might get confusing, Mother. It makes me wonder. Makes you wonder what? How do I know it wasn't you who killed my father? We slept in the same bed. Yeah, that's fine, Norman. Sure. Okay. I'd give up a million villages just to be with you here forever. I love you, Mother. I love you, Norman. 